Hello everyone, it's Cookie at Cookie's Cache. Welcome back to my channel. Glad to have you here. We're going to do a bag opening. This is part three of a very large lot. It was 291 pieces, I think 13 and a half pounds. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. We're glad to have you with us. Join our little community. We are a channel that does bag and box openings of modern to vintage to antique jewelry for resale and we always do a bag opening show you what's coming up um, if you see anything during the bag opening please uh, let me know down in the comments that you want it and I can get together with you I need to have your uh, email me at Cass Norvell at CenturyLink.net and give me your your YouTube name your PayPal address your actual physical address and is there anything I'm leaving now? Mm -hmm. I think that's about it. And I can invoice you and we can get started communicating. Um, if you're new to my channel, please go out to the left-hand side of right below the app picture and you'll see a subscribe. You hit that, go out to the right side. There's a bell and you can hit all. And uh, that will enable you to be notified of... Um, Anytime I do a bag op opening or a sale. And I try to do my bag openings like anywhere on Friday, Saturday, possibly Sunday. And then I do my, um, and Tuesdays. And then I do my sales on Thursdays right now. So welcome aboard. Welcome back. Let's get started. Like I said, this is a very large lot that I got in. I'm very excited about it because so far one or two were pretty good. One was all bracelets. Um, the second one that we did a couple of days ago was all earrings. A lot of uh, handmade earrings. Very well done. A lot of stones. Uh, no, no real precious metals. Here's a nice piece. Oh, that's very pretty. It looks like you could put a pendant down here. It's um, black and a kind of a grayish. These are these are acrylic beads on silver chain with a lobster claw clasp and a about a three inch extender with a finished top. And this one is just right at nine inch drop. This is unusual. I haven't seen one of these. I'm sure they're out there, but this is nice because you could actually put a uh, move this stuff up. Put a little pendant hanging from there. Very pretty. It's got the black, the kind of uh, smoky or opal-looking uh, bead faceted, and then these like barrel beads are like a gray tone. Very pretty. Very nice. Of course, again, everything is bagged. So it's going to take me a minute to get through these. Uh, this is a very, very heavy uh, keychain. Gymnastics. Looks like it, it was an award of some kind, or you could buy it for the gym. Very, very weighty. Nice. And here is a little toe ring. Let's see if I can get into it. These are going to be fun. These little ones are the ones that give me the problem. So how's everybody doing? Everybody getting what they need, getting their rest, staying in, communicating with each other, with your family, and then staying your, what is it, three to six feet away? This one doesn't stick, so this is something we're going to have to test. It's got a silver tone to it. Little tiny daisies with the opening. I guess you could use it for a pinky ring as well but it might slip off, but that's what it is, a little toe ring. What size is that? Let's see, well, since it's open, it's not really gonna matter, but it's about a two inch, uh, two and a half inch, and then of course it spreads. I've never been able to do a toe ring. I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose them, but we'll set that one aside for a test. Empty bag, and this one, it's quite a large in charge. I believe it, it appears to be acrylic, kind of a creamy or off-white color. Really cute. Sparkle. Now, it's acrylic. Kind of different. Hmm. 
There we go. Very pretty. Let's see what this is. That's a seven. It's got glitter in it, as you can see. That's not bad. I like that. Pass it off and let my husband deal with it. Okay, this appears to be, yeah, a gold tone. I don't know if that was something on the back or it's just a tag, but it's a little gold tone key ring, and it's got the um, dream catcher, a glazed over dream catcher with the little feathers down here at the bottom. Very cute. I think I'd get rid of this ring and make turn this into a lightweight pendant. That would be very sweet. These little feathers are uh, silver tone. Okay, and then we have a gold tone. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's see. It's got like an indentation here. Hmm, we will have to test it. Another, another test. Let's see here. That is a six and a half. Very nice. I like that. It's just plain. And here is another little. My husband just showed me how to open these easy. <laughs> okay, this is a little midway ring, maybe. midway ring. It's gold tone. It's got like a ropey feel to it or look. Very, very lightweight. Could be a pinky ring. That's about a four. And let's see what it does. Oh, no, it's just gold tone. A little. That's nice though. Because um, little rings like that have a tendency to slip off. Now this is I'm going to say I think it is a uh, scarf holder because it has a clip on it and it's just gold tone. It's an overlay and uh, I think you'd, you know, you clip this to your, your collar and then you'd have your scarf running through there. That way you wouldn't lose it. Nope, just just an overlay. Nice, different. It does have a something here. Oh, unusual. I don't get very many of these. It comes mostly makes me wonder. It says swank on it. Generally, that's men's uh, cufflinks, but I'm sure they've made other things. Could be maybe a tie holder. Now clip this up. Yeah, you'd put it over the knot in your ties, what my husband's telling me. I don't know, I've never worn any ties, so. <laughs> this is a long chain in here. Oh. I think it's gunmetal, it's very lightweight. Just has a little loop here that the toggle would go into. Good size toggle, so I, hmm, it's even got a like a latch there, maybe to hold it in place, or I'm not real sure. Maybe maybe that's how it goes. Maybe it is 18. 18 inches plus 33 inches long. So that's a good, that's a nice, 
that's a nice belt. It's very lightweight, very pretty. A little tiny bit of debris on it, but that's easily fixed, as we know. I was reading up, yes, uh, a couple of days ago I had a bangle that came out. I couldn't find any seams on it. And so I got online and tried to read about how to test for Bakelite and uh, uh, what it's made out of. And it's pretty interesting when you get into some of this stuff. It's amazing. There's a little tie clasp, gold tone. Kind of a braided look across the top. No name. That's unusual. Now these were these were in this area with this bag, but they were in this little separate bag. So it's all kind of one. And here is another little ring with a, looks like a cat. It's a little plastic piece. Yeah, they, the way they said it didn't catch the, the whole cartoon. But it's a little child's ring, size four. That'd even be like a pinky ring on somebody. It's cute, a little novelty. And then we have a hair ornament. Let's see here, a little gold tone. Very antique looking. Uh, let's see, I think these come together like this, if I remember correctly. Yep. Very vintage. Yeah, it's a little ornament for your hair. You could have very lightweight hair to go through that, not a lot of hold. It's in pretty good shape. It's a gold tone color, but it is just a gold. No, now the, the floral part doesn't stick. The actual finding or the clip in the back does. So there's another test. Okay, we've moved on to bigger and better things, and here we go with the big bag. We're going to pull out this large statement necklace. And it is large, but it's really pretty. It's on a silver tone chain with a lobster claw clasp with a three inch extender finished with a little bead. I like that. I just, it makes it look so nice. But if you look at this, isn't that gorgeous? This is a, like a, they call it sea foam. And these are teardrops. They're all faceted. It is acrylic. Yeah, it's acrylic. It has a very cold feel to it, but it is. You can tell. Very well done. Very lightweight. I was trying to measure the length on one of these earlier today. Got it on my neck and couldn't get it off. And I thought, well, this is nice. I'm going to wear this to clean the house today. <laughs> um, get dressed up since we're not going out anywhere. But that is nice. Okay. And then we have this package. And this is, I think this is the most pearls, strands of pearls I've seen, I've gotten ever since I started this. And I haven't been doing it that long, but boy. Now, <laughs> Yep, you're definitely going to have to have work out before you wear this, baby. It's got a large lobster cock clasp. It has a little tiny heart tag. Doggone it, I wish it would have had a name on it because that would have been at least who did this. These are very cold, so I'm going to say they're glass, and they're heavy like they're glass. They're pretty uniform. That is a beautiful set of pearls. That is a, from the clasp, that's about a nine and a half inch drop, and there are six strands. Very light color, creamy, creamy color. Very pretty. They're perfect. This is in brand new condition. Yeah, these are glass. And then there's some little... I thought there was rhinestones, but no, it's just indentations right up here at the top on the uh, bars, the finding bars. So 
huge find there. That was, and that is quite a statement as well as being pearls. Okay, we've got another one. Now these are just beads. They're all faceted. They're acrylic. Very nicely done. Br brand new, like it's never been worn or very lovingly worn. It is an 11 inch drop graduated beads. As you can see, very pretty. Kind of an antique gold finding. Nice. And it's not so bright orange that it would be, you know, a Halloween color. It's just like a nice summery. Go great with a summer outfit. And then we have this goodie coming out. And so far, this bag's been pretty productive. Very satisfying to look at. A long, very long necklace of beads here. About a 17 inch drop from the lobster claw clasp and a finished extender about one and a half inches. And it's gold tone. These are, uh, they're like acrylic. Yeah, they're acrylic. And then the red beads and then your uh, rondelles separating for stations. Very pretty. The rondelles have a kind of a, a champagne color look to them. That is a very pretty necklace. And then there's some wood beads down here. Uh, it looks like this one may have had an accident here, but it doesn't detract from it. It just needs a little bit of care, a little bit of polish. Very pretty. Like that. So, so far, we're doing good. Let's see what's coming out now. Well, now this looks like one of those um, ring chokers with the like a memory wire. Now this is pretty, very different. It is, like I said, this one actually has a clasp, which I like, lobster claw clasp, three and a half, four inch extender. The medallion, these are all acrylic. Well, these are metal, gold, gold tone. Yeah, these are acrylic beads. Um, not a strong facet on them. And these beads are rushed, rucked. They're pleated like looking. This is gold tone, no name. And a uh, very nice medallion. That's a very nice piece. Kind of a gold tone, but then you have this down here that's accented in gold, and it uh, makes it look almost coppery. And then the beads have a now this one needs a little wash, a little bath. So let's scrub up before we send him out. And then, let's see. Yeah, now this one, this bag wasn't packed as tightly as the rest. The other two bags. And I guess because of the, oh, now this is just really beautiful. Um... Don't know what that. These are acrylic beads, unusual. It's it's a hand handmade piece. The stitching on the back is gorgeous. Little bit of little bit of wear there, but it's on a gold antique gold chain, lobster claw clasp. Of course, no name. Wait a minute. Yeah, there is a name right on that edge, but I'm going to have to hand it off here in a minute and let my husband see if I, because I can, I barely, I almost missed that. These are like a very, very deep, rich, royal purple, these larger um, rhinestones. They're, um, this is a newer piece. It's not antique. You have the rhinestones here. They're all there, nothing missing, very can good condition. These are blue, kind of a opal look to them. And then you have these beads that are um, kind of a dusty or dusky type purple. They're all 
um, prong set. Then you have these little channel beads here, little barrel beads that somebody has stitched in. Very lightweight, very beautiful. I'm going to hand that off and let's see it. It's right on the edge of the class. Let's see if my husband can find it. Now here's another. Oh, looks like maybe one necklace. This one is fun. This is just, this is definitely um, Easter or summer uh, statement necklace. And this is really a nice little piece. Very, wow. These blossoms and all the rhinestones are there. Wait, oh, yep, all the rhinestones. I thought at first there was a couple missing on this one, but it's where it go, it shines through to the back. There's openings. This one has is a very pale, pale blue with uh, rhinestones and a pearl. Same thing with this one. This is a, a darker peach. Then you have your gold one, your large white one. It's kind of um, offset, asymmetrical. And then you have a daisy with light blue and then the small, lighter tone of that peach one. Very nice. I'm trying to figure out why this one is not articulating easily just because of the daisy but the way it lays is gorgeous lobster claw clasp um, and an extender about a two inch extender that is gorgeous that is really a pretty piece Let's see if I can hold it up so you can see the larger um, color on that um, kind of not really I think you can see it better far away the light blue. Yeah, it's a very light blue. Okay, okay. my husband tells me there's nothing on that clasp. <coughs> look on the... Okay, great. Nothing on the clasp. And then finally, for this bag, we have another one of those choker rings um, necklaces. And it's like brand new. Was That is really different. This is a kind of a very light teal or seafoam green. Very nice. No name. In very good condition. Very pretty. A little bit of wear here. Or it might just need some cleanup. Somebody did love this, this piece. And it is. It's very attractive. Okay, guys. That's it for the third bag. Really pleased with that one. Got some really nice statement necklaces. Um, we'll see um, what we can do with those for a sale. And as I said, please, if you've not been um, watching me, go over and hit the subscribe so you can follow along. And we can um, notify you when we're having a bag opening or a sale. Um, if you see anything in this video that you'd really like to have, um, just let me know in the comments or use my email. Let me know. And you can kind of zero in on it if there's a um, timestamp on the video and pull that forward and uh, we'll get you hooked up. I try to keep my prices low so that I can get everybody interested in the jewelry market again. Get you ladies out there building your stash. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. God bless you.